Hi, my name is Sarita. And my name is Rena. We are both past patients with Mexico Bariatric Center and we are here to break the stigma of having weight loss surgery in Tijuana, Mexico. We will be covering all things bariatric to help you get the most out of this weight loss journey. Hi friends! Hello. Hi! Welcome to Can You Stomach This? What are you talking about today, Sarita? We are going to talk about bariatric accessories. Tools for success. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, post-op. Yeah, post-op. Yeah. Tools for success, post-op. Mm -hmm. I love accessories. Me too. I look at this. So well, I only have earrings right now. But, you know. She says she has lots of them. You have lots of accessories in life, in general. Yes. She's an accessory kind of girl. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, anyway. So, um, you know, when people think about their... We'll talk about some... Um, accessories that get you through this journey right yes. okay so first when people think about their weight loss journey the first thing they always think about is food 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 how am i gonna this when am i gonna that what am i gonna this you know what to eat, eat, how to eat, eat when to eat yes eat eat food food and that is a very big part of it mm -hmm. um but let's take our focus off of food for a little while and talk about some other tools for success yes Right? Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about, uh, let's see, let's do surgery accessories first. Like yes. that recovery phase, like surgery recovery yes. accessories. So what uh, kind of accessories did you use? So the first one would be like the gauze and the tape um, for, you know, covering your incisions. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure, you know, that you wash your incisions every day with um, antibacterial soap and water, mm -hmm. just plain soap and water, and cover them with, you know, a light gauze and a, I would go for hypoallergenic tape. So I do mm -hmm. have some gauze here. Yeah. And. I use the little gauze pads. They're a little small. Yeah. So I have some mm -hmm. of those here. I have some non-stick yeah. pads. And then I have the tape. Mm-hmm. And then that's exactly what I did. So I took the nonstick pads and I put them on and then I put like extra large band-aids over my incisions. Yeah. And that's what I used to travel home. Right. Or like um, if I had to get dressed and go out in public. Like, you know, you really yes. should leave your wounds open right. when you're home, just sitting around. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Yeah, so they dry out. Yeah. But then like if I needed to go in public and I was worried about them oozing or oh. something, I always would put like, I mean, it happens. It does you know, happen it all happens. the time. So um, I would put the the gauze pads with extra large band aids, you know, yes. and um, also there was a time when um, sometimes like uh, if I needed to do something to get wet or whatever, I would use the like waterproof ones, water shower. resistant. Um, well, in the shower, I was usually washing them, okay. right? But um, yeah, there was like towards the end of my healing because I had my surgery in May. And so we were at the beach, right? And so to go oh. swimming, I used the leak-proof, waterproof. Okay, yeah, that, that so works. water wouldn't get in. Right. You, you know, don't want that to get in. I also always joke and say I put duct tape over it. That's not okay. a joke though. Like if I've ever told you that, I was not <laughs> serious. <laughs> no duct tape that will rip your skin off. Yeah. Well, duct tape fixes everything. It's a great babysitter too. Yeah. Just stick them to the wall and leave. The, the so another thing that I ordered was mm -hmm. a medical alert bracelet. Which I'm wearing. Yes. Now this was this is not a real medical alert. However, it's good to have one because mm -hmm. it says on here that I'm a bariatric patient, and it says no N, no blind NG, no NSAIDs. And then you know if you have a special diet, you can also write that on there. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's good to wear. You know, just yeah. in case you have some type of accident. Mm -hmm. I don't have one for. Um, um, my DS surgery, but I feel like people who have had bypass, it's also, I feel like mm -hmm. it's really important for them to have that because, yeah. you know, if you ever, ever have like an accident or something, and it, especially if there's some like trauma to the, right. you know, that area, that's something that a uh, medical professional might really need to know. Right. I, I so, think yeah. it's important. And you can get some really stylish ones. Like you can't even really tell. Well, mine's a little hurt, sometimes. you know, and it, yeah, it, it's, it's on cute. a, you know, a little bracelet and it's got a, a little adorable. charm on it. I would never know that was a medical alert. Right? I know. Well, I hope it's they so would. Cute. I hope they would know. I hope they would know. <laughs> but it is cute. Yeah, it's cute. I feel like they're trained to look for that kind of stuff. Usually, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, 
There's a couple of things to help you post up. Mm -hmm. um, but also, let's talk about tracking and organization accessories. Yes. Yeah. That's really a key one there. Because um, if you lose track, I would say five years post-op, over five years post-op, when you lose track, um, things can kind of go crazy. Haywire. And, yeah, and so you really want to make sure you track. And I know that sounds crazy, and over time you would think you probably don't need to track as much. Um, but sometimes it helps to jump back in the game and, and track yourself again. Um, Agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I talk to a lot of patients, and that's one of my first questions. Are you tracking? Yeah. It's always the question when mm -hmm. somebody falls off the path, even yes. even way out. Um, but especially in the beginning, uh, learn those habits early on. Track everything. You should have already been tracking in pre-op, actually. Yeah. Um, and then post-op, it's really important because sometimes you don't know. You don't know if you're meeting your daily goals. You may not be getting enough. You may be getting too much and you just right. don't know it. Yes. Um, but some things you can use to do that. My favorite is Veritastic. It's an app. It's on the phone. It tracks literally everything. I can input my measurements pre-op. You can uh, input what your daily goals should be. You can right. save meals, like if you eat certain things. Um, and then it's really easy. You just click a button and input in a right. whole meal. Because it's saved in there. Mm -hmm, for sure. And um, so that's super easy to do. Um, another app that you can use for tracking is very Bariatric Pal. Right, right? yeah. That, those are the two most popular ones that our patients use are Veritastic and Bariatric Pal. Mm -hmm. They seem to be um, work mm -hmm. really well. Yeah, they track how much you drink. They track how much you're eating. <laughs> they can track your weight loss. They can track your measurements. Your like, activity. Your activity levels. Yeah, it's like right. you have like a smartwatch. It connects to it and yes. it automatically inputs your activity. Right. Um, so, yeah, I love those. And... Uh, there's kind of the old school method too, right? Paper journaling. Yes, the we, old school method. We have we have a lot of paper paper journaling patients, and that's great too. Mm -hmm. It's very it visual. Hurt. It yeah. is very visual. Yeah. And sometimes it helps to write things down. It does. Yeah, yeah. and you can see it in front of you. Right. Sometimes, very visual. Sometimes on my journey, I have paper journaled as well as input things in front. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Just write the time. Right. right with an A, it really helps keep up with it. Um, another thing you can use for tracking, um, and Sarita actually introduced me to this. So, uh, Sarita, tell us all about Renfo. Okay, so the Renfo scale. Mm -hmm. So we have the weight scale, the tape measure, and we also have a food scale now. And I use all three of these. She does. Um, so I will show the tape measure first. So this tape measure will link to your app on your phone. It pulls out. The Renfo, yeah. And you don't even need anyone to help you do this. It, it like clicks and it attaches. Measure me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, see, that's super easy. Look, and there's a little thing in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. I don't have my glasses on. Anyway. So anyway, you can do it yourself. You don't need anyone to help you. Mm -hmm. It syncs right up to your phone. And the measurement pops up on the screen there? It pops up on the screen and on your phone app. Love it. So we also have, have the yet. new kitchen scale. I do have that. Yes. And this, yes. this also links to it, so it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I and haven't really navigated that scale yet. I've had a different food scale, but the Renfo scale. Yeah, this is awesome. For weight loss. Yes. So this <clears> tracks <throat> everything. It tracks um, like your body fat, your um, subcutaneous fat, your visceral fat, how much water, protein you have in your body. I mean, it, it it's really neat. It's amazing. It is really neat. It really is. I've been using that scale post-op since I had surgery. Oh, wow. That's a dedication. Yeah. I just started using it, what, two years ago? Yeah. It's, it's interesting. I, I highly recommend that. I really like it, and if you, listen, those are tools for success, too, even if you don't use the Renfo. Um, I recommend that that because you can keep it all together in one app. Mm -hmm. It all goes together. It all works together. Um, but definitely get a scale. If you don't have one, it doesn't matter. It's like, I did not use a Renfo scale. I did not use a fancy scale. Just a plain Jane. Right. You can get them on Amazon, Walmart, any. Yeah, where in the food have, section they are in package on yeah. Amazon. You can get everything all in one package. Oh yeah, the Renfo stuff. Yeah, especially around wait, the holidays. Wait for Amazon days. 
Or Black Friday. Or Black Friday. Yeah, you can get a killer deal on them. Yes. But definitely get a scale, even if it's like a ten dollar one. And definitely do your it. measurements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know before, before because sometimes when you stall, you're losing inches instead of pounds, and that way well, you can keep good track. Yes. With that. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. It's encouraging, right? It to, is. When you hit those stalls, especially that three week stall, yes. when you get to three weeks post op and you just stop losing weight and right. you kind of freak out. Right. Um, my advice is always, always watch your inches, watch your inches, right. watch how right. your clothes fit because right. when you stop losing weight, you are usually losing right. inches. That is true. For sure. It's your body firming up from the loss. Mm -hmm. Um, right? Speaking of firming yeah. up. Speaking <laughs> of firming up. <laughs> um, other accessories. Let's talk about comfort accessories, okay? Yes. Um, so, there are times in this journey that sometimes can be uncomfortable. Going back yeah. to recovery phase. Um, sometimes um, people don't want to lay down all the way. Right. Right? And so, um, one thing you can use is a, a chair pillow or so I, have, I have one here. She does. But this is my chair pillow. Okay. Mm -hmm. She uses so, it. Yeah. You, I just sat up in bed and you can, it's, it's memory foam and you know, you can lean up against it. You can even sleep on it. Yeah. And you know, instead of a recliner, sometimes even years post op when you, you know, you never want to eat and lay down, right? right? But if you want, if you eat, you need to recline a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You can sit up like that. Yeah. Um, and then, <laughs> so I know we've said this before and I'm going to say this again, but I think that I grew a tailbone. Like yeah. I didn't have a tailbone prior to surgery. I, it was not there. You will never convince me. Yes. Um, I think that bone actually <laughs> Of course, yes. I'm just, so we have. So I have a cushion for that. Yes. So people don't think about this, but this, this is real. My memory foam cushion, mm -hmm. and I do keep this in my car because mm -hmm. when I'm traveling, you know, for hours, it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I also have one at home for when working. So highly recommend the memory foam. Sitting cushion. now is not something that I can do like I could do before. I will say that right. it's, it's uncomfortable. Sometimes. It gets very uncomfortable. Yeah. And you know, I guess, I don't know if more petite people have always had this problem or if it's, uh, they're used to it. So then as you lose weight, I call them shrinking pains. I tell people all the time you have shrinking pains. And so using something like that definitely helps you get through, yeah, absolutely. through that. Um, and then, so here's, um, another thing that I want to call it comfort. Some people might not call it comfort. Um, you could call it clothing, whatever, but shapewear, shapewear, shapewear. So, um, shapewear is a nice accessory in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, I do always like wearing my shapewear. It actually makes me feel comfortable to wear it. Like I don't feel, you know, I've lost uh, 215 pounds. So it, it's, it's uncomfortable to me to feel like, you know, everything's just loose, just jiggly, jiggly <laughs> everywhere. Right. So even when I'm at home and I don't go anywhere, I, it's part of my everyday get up, get dressed. I wear my cami shapewear every day. Um, but some other things that I like, and I'll kind of go through some different types of shapewear. Um, there is a cami one. I personally like the open bust camis. So you can always get these, right? Mm -hmm. They fit right over, hold everything in, keep you comforted, nice and tight. Um, there is always also the shorts. Like if you, you know, maybe have jiggly legs and you don't like that, um, they're shorts and these are high waisted shorts. So they come all the way up your waist. So they're they literally from knee to chest, right? Pair it with your cami. Yeah. You can even pair that with your cami for mm -hmm. sure. I have them all. Yes. You not. could totally do that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's this one here, sweetie, you can model this one for us. Oh, <laughs> there, <laughs> there's always this one. This is a waist trainer. Yeah. Um, so this is, this is fun. You don't have to buckle this, but you know, you can just wrap it around. Actually, it goes the other way. Oh. But, um, so a uh, waist trainer, uh, a lot of people like to wear those and See, here we go. Way you can, you can and it goes all the way down. Yeah. Here we go. Look at that. Yeah. It really does. It, oh, I hipped it by mistake. 
<laughs> anyway, um, so it keeps you uh, very uh, put together here. It does keep you very well put together. I will say that. And you know what? <laughs> it will make an hourglass figure out of you um, in a heartbeat. Definitely. Yes. Sometimes, too, those can get uncomfortable. It seems like I would, I would get too hot. Really? Yeah. I don't, yeah, I think it just depends on what you're doing. I, want, I don't like wearing like, those in the summer. if you were, like, really active. Yeah. But you know, like, if you're going to wear a dress well, and you're yeah. going somewhere fun, yeah, that would be you know, okay. fancy or something. Yeah. Uh, one shapewear item that a lot of people don't think about, or Sarita did not know about this until I come along. <laughs> um, I call it arm shapewear. So there's different kinds. These are arm sleeves. And so, you know, I've lost a lot of weight, so I don't, you know, my arms are mm -hmm. um, uncomfortable sometimes. And so, um, these things go on like sleeves, and they slide all the way up, and they just hold your arms together. Yep, and never I really, knew about those. I like them. I think that athletes wear them they sometimes do. when they play. Yeah, yeah, and I like them, um, especially if I'm going to do sporty things. It, mm -hmm. I don't feel, you know, if I'm going to be using my arms a lot. Right. And these are nice and cool. They don't, um, you know, my arms can still breathe. Right. It's like pantyhose, kind of, what mm -hmm. it feels like. Okay. Um, so I really like those. And then there's this one. I really like this one. This one is really cool. So it actually goes around your back. It's like, like this. A, it's like a little. And you put your arms in, and then it goes down shawl. like this. All the way from both <laughs> arms until you wear it. And um, anyway, so I really like this like, one. It won't slip off. No, it don't. You know, people buy these to wear, like, after surgery, like, after removing skin but you can wear these with blue skin mm. to kind of hold it all together my arms are so slim in these like look at that yeah oh, yeah that's very cool yeah i love it i love them mm -hmm. they make me feel comfortable and so another thing that um sarita insists that i talk about i think it's important okay it's neck tape so i'm actually not wearing neck tape but um neck tape normally <laughs> If I was going to do something like what we're doing right now, I would have on my neck tape because, you know, this is, you know, as women, we can't ever be right. You know, like, um, as women, it, we're never, we're never enough. We're never enough for ourselves. You we're see never everything. Enough. Yeah. And so, you know, this is one of those things, right? Mm -hmm. And so the neck tape, it just sticks to one side and stretches around the back side and grabs both sides and pulls it up. You know, it's like. The alternative to surgery. Yeah, this is the neck lift use neck tape, and I did not this know this is a real thing. I did not know this was even a real thing. She makes fun of me. No idea. Neck tape. But you can get it on Amazon. You, oh yeah, be kind. <laughs> she is. Kind. I'm, just, I'm just kidding. But yeah, neck tape. Yes. So that's a it's a real thing. Yeah. It's a real thing. Um, so we'll move on from comfort accessories. Of course, we would love to hear what your comfort accessories are. Always drop mm -hmm. drop us some comments um, so we can share those Always uh, great ideas with yeah. other people. Right. Um, you know, we don't just do this for us. Like, we, people ask us questions all the time. We love right. to help. So, right. um, but anyway, we'll move on to food and nutrition accessories because that is always people's like, what am I going to do with food? Mm -hmm. Food is always a big thing. Uh, so we'll get into that. Uh, let's talk about nutrition first because um, nutrition is always the most important thing. Yes, food, um, nutrition should always come from food sources, um, but you need some supplements sometimes. And when you first have surgery, um, you should, it doesn't matter what surgery you have, you should always take vitamins for two years. Um, and if you've had a, a, a malabsorptive procedure, bypass DNS, you should take vitamins for the rest of your life. You, you're not should. Sure. Um, you need to. You, you, you really have to. You have to. Um, even if you go to the doctor and you do labs and the doctor says your labs are fine, um, it will catch up with you before yes. you know it and then you can't fix it. It will catch up. Um, and you, once it does its damage from lack of nutrition, nutrients, yes. um, sometimes you can't fix those things. Yes. So always take your vitamins no matter what anybody says. Um, I mean, of course, you can talk about different kinds and things like that, but you do always need them. You need so, good quality vitamins. Yes. We highly recommend the Emerge vitamins. Mm -hmm. um, they meet all the requirements. They come in chewable. They come in soft chew, liquid. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they're really good quality vitamins, and that's really important. You do not want to skimp on vitamins yes. in your health. And vitamins can be expensive, and sometimes people think, well, I'm just going to get these at the dollar store and mm -mm. you're not, you're going to get what you pay for. Right. 
um, invest in a diamond or saving money on food at this point. So invest there in you go. Diamonds, right? Yeah. Invest in vitamins. Good way to think about and it. And so um, let's talk about some tools for vitamins. Mm -hmm. This is one. Um, I actually have two of these. Um, I sort my vitamins once a month, and yes, that's a lot of vitamins. When you have a DS, you need many things. Um, we can do a whole other podcast on that. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, we won't get into what vitamins, but um, I do sort my vitamins once a month because I know lack of time. I can't do it once a week, so I tried that. It didn't work, so I got a second one of these, and I was doing two weeks, and I was like, oh, I'm running out, and I don't have time, so... Um, it takes as much time to fill a month's worth as it does two weeks worth. Right. So um, these are handy dandy. These are like a dollar at Walmart, I think. Or even Maybe a dollar, dollar store. Yeah, yeah, they're nothing. You can and find it makes, them everywhere. Makes taking vitamins so easy. And I do travel a lot. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I'm only going on the weekends. Sometimes I'm going a week or so. Um, and for that, I love this one. This little I love thing. That. This is so cute because if I'm just going to be gone two days. I can there just take two days worth. You don't have to take the whole thing. I love that. Yeah, so I actually have um, two of these and two of these. And that way, what, if at any point in the month I'm going to randomly jump in my car and go somewhere, mm -hmm. I can grab the vitamins that I need yeah. for the day. I love it. Yeah, and um, another important thing, if you have trouble remembering to take vitamins, because I know mm -hmm. that I do, um, I do remember, I mean, I do struggle to remember to take vitamins. So I set a reminder on my phone. Mm -hmm. Um, I have Alexa, because I'm going to be honest with you, Alexa is like the best office assistant in the world, and so, <laughs> making sure she didn't hear me. I have, an, I have one <laughs> here in the kitchen, and when you say that, yeah, she might start the A word. back. She might. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I do love her. She's a great office assistant. She's a great personal assistant. I can tell her to remind me to take these things every day, um, and in fact, she does at 9 o'clock every morning. Also, I'll give you a little tip on something to help you remember. Um, I talk to patients all day, and so when I talk to you about having a bypass, I will always tell you that you need to take vitamins. And so every time I say that word to a patient, <laughs> I reach over and I take a vitamin. She has a lot of vitamins. I do, and um, I don't like taking them all at once. That can cause up stomach upset. Also, you should take them at different times of the day anyway yeah. um, for different reasons. You know, you can right. take calcium with food, that kind right. of thing. Um, so, yeah, I, I use that time to... Uh, talking about them to remember to take one. Mm -hmm. um, so do that. Use a, use a reminder app. And so we'll move on from that into drinking because one of the most important things for you is going to be staying hydrated. Yes, that's the Hydrate, super hydrate, 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 hydrate. Um, mm -hmm. I've said this in every, every time I talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. You lose weight through your urine. You pee out your pounds. Pee out your pounds. And if you're not drinking and staying hydrated, you're not losing weight. So that's we, people will say we're, we're not losing weight. First question, are you tracking? Second question, are you drinking enough water? Right. Um, minimum 64 ounces. Minimum. And ideally, minimum. you should drink half your weight in ounces. Right. So if you're 300 pounds, you should be drinking 150 pounds. I mean, ounces of water. <laughs> That'd be a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but um, anyway, so Sarita, uh, what are you holding? Okay, so this is a bariatric bottle. It's 16 ounces. So, one of our amazing patients, Daniel, yes, our patient, my patient. Um, came up with these, and he they're, so, they're sold on Amazon under bariatric bottles, and so my daughter is having surgery this week, so I ordered some. Mm -hmm. We're taking these with us, and I've already tried it out. It's amazing. Can't wait for her to try it out. So, they come in a two-pack or a one-pack, mm -hmm. so head to Amazon for that. And the... So the way that works oh. is, oh, anyway, you, you fill it, yeah, you fill it with water on this side, mm -hmm. and then you can squeeze it up, and it's an ounce right here, mm -hmm. and, and it's spill proof. Yeah, because like at the hospital, they're going to tell you to drink an ounce at a time after right. surgery. And so you just squeeze it up, mm -hmm. drink it, and then you're ready for the next yeah. one. Yeah. So instead of That's constantly awesome. pouring one ounce into a right. little cup, squeeze it up, yeah. and then drink it. And, and the reason they tell you to do one ounce at a time like that, even when you get home, they'll tell you to keep doing that because um, you're not tempted to drink too much right. um, because be painful. all of our lives we've turned drinks up and drank them. So it's really hard to learn to sip them yes. and it will be painful. You've done it and be hurting before you realize yes. you've done it. it um, so we say always drink one ounce at a time for like the first little while. 
And so I also have this little um, little timer that it's an interval timer that you can clip on and it will vibrate like after one minute, two minute, three minute. So some people do use a smartwatch, some people use an alarm on their phone. So we got this for my daughter who's having surgery this week. She's so and excited. I'm so excited. I'm too. so excited. Yay. And so she can clip this on it on, you know, somewhere on her and it will um, like vibrate to remind her mm -hmm. to use um, or to take her next sip. And some people think like, why would I need to remember to drink? But you know, yeah. <laughs> it happens. Yes. The day will go by. Um, especially if we have a lot of people that come for surgery, like, um, they come on Thursday, have surgery on Friday and they, they go back to office jobs on Monday and right. it is so easy to get busy. Right. And before you know it, 30 minutes has passed, an hour has passed yes. and you've not taken a sip. You've missed all those sips. Yeah. And so I do use my watch to remind me, but, um, one of the things, even now, five years mm -hmm. later, I'm still trying mm -hmm. every, all day long to get in right. all this water. Right. And so I can't use my watch, but the problem with using your watch is that it goes off and that could be a text from right. Shaperman trying to sell me more shapewear, right? I mean, right. it could be anything. Or it could be an email. It could be her. Yeah. I mean, it could be it anything, Facebook, yeah. you know? So um, I may or may not look down at it because I'm busy and I don't have time to answer whoever so, that is. So you know when this goes off. That's when it's it going. singles out that. If right. that vibrates, you can clip it to you, lay it beside mm -hmm. your, whatever. Yeah. And you know it's it. Um, so I think that is a wonderful idea. Um, I think somebody mentioned that, didn't they? That they um, so I had made a post on Facebook about mm -hmm. um, patients' accessories they use after surgery. Mm -hmm. So I read through all the comments. And actually, um, a patient sent this to me on TikTok. Awesome. So, awesome. yeah, so I was able to order it off Amazon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so there are um, other drinking things and also food things. So you're going to drink your food for a while. Actually, yeah, I still are. drink protein shakes. Um, mm -hmm. I just like them. It helps me get that in. It's easy on the stomach in the mornings when you don't want to put like a heavy meal on there. Right. Um, so I did not bring a blender bottle to show you, but you can just Google blender bottle. It's just a little bottle. It has a little metal ball that drops in like a little wire ball. The, I lived off a blender bottle um, mm -hmm. through pre-op and the first stage post-op. I didn't do, uh, originally I did a powder um, mm -hmm. shake. So um, I would dump in my powder, dump in like my almond milk, and then the little blender ball helps mix all that up. That's hard work though, because um, Sarita does it the easy way. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, what is it that you recommend for um, blending? Blending, yeah. Okay. Let's talk about so blending I, in in the know. Right. So I got the blend jet. So now this is very cool for traveling and, mm -hmm. and just you know overall. It charges with USB. Mm -hmm. You can take it with you. It's very. You hear that? Yeah, that one like slice and dice with yeah. in there. You, you could, you know, blend the protein shakes, you could do your soup, I mean, fruit, you, all kinds of stuff in there. So what you're saying is if I go into the office and they're having pizza that day and I'm like your two weeks in there. post up, I can just stick my pizza in there? Yeah, and it cleans up very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, you should not be blending pizza. No, not blend pizza. Okay. <laughs> but you could. I mean, yeah. but you shouldn't. So, so I'll um, be using this next week with yeah. my daughter. Yay, what kind of things do you do you foresee blending? Soups, um, protein shakes? I think we would start with protein shakes and soup and you know, maybe like fruit, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Watch the seeds and the fruit, right? Yeah, no no seeds or nuts for the first eight weeks. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be careful. Yeah. Um and then so I also part of my vitamins, I do collagen. Um and sometimes when I mix my shake I'll do Gym Pro. Um Gym Pro and almond milk. And my collagen, and of course collagen, I do the vital protein to right. powder. Mm -hmm. um, and so I find my immersion blender, as she calls it, immersion blender. I, you know, that's what it really is, but I call it a bzz. -bz. Yeah, we got a lot of comments so, on that. Yeah, you mm -hmm. just, I just stick it in, I push the button and shake it, make it do like it needs to do, and <laughs> blend up my um, Gen Pro um, and my collagen. And I love this little thing. It's, it travels well. It goes everywhere. Um, it also comes on a cute little stand. I think this is like 10 bucks on 
Amazon, yeah. literally anywhere. But like, we got a lot of comments on that. To yeah. Get one of those too. So mm -hmm. that's I love mine. I actually posted a TikTok uh, using it one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Um, and then here comes the big one food. Like yes. meals. Yes. What are we? Food accessories. Mm -hmm. What are some go to food accessories? Um, tools for success in the food department. Zarina. So I do love meal prepping and, you know, things like that. So I have all kinds of things here. Um, so I have little Ziploc bags, little snack bags. Mm -hmm. from, these came from Ikea. You can measure it out yeah. on your scale. Uh -huh, and then put them in these little yes. bags. Mm -hmm. I also got these from Ikea too. These are just little containers. Again, you would measure out. You know, they travel well. Mm -hmm. um, so for meal prepping, I have the divided containers. Of course, you will not really use these immediately, per no. style, but girl, these are, these are your friends yeah. right so here. There's three compartments, mm -hmm. so you could do your protein, your vegetables, and your, you know, healthy carbs. So in transparency, I don't like leftovers. I love leftovers. I don't like them. Love them. I don't like meal prepping, but Sarita here has talked me into it, mm -hmm. and um, she's not wrong. Um, you do get really busy sometimes, and um, you sacrifice quality over um, time, um, and so it's really hard to cook yourself a healthy, fresh meal yeah. um, every day. Also, you don't eat very much, so it takes it takes you know the same amount of time sometimes to make. I feel like you would waste food. Yeah. If you're I, the only one eating. Yeah, so it is easier to meal prep. Um, mm -hmm. I have done that recently, and I will kind of say it's, it's a good idea, even if you don't like leftovers. So I also have a bento box, which is awesome for work. It is. You know or what? travel, and it's yes. leak-proof, too. So these are, these are cool to have. You know what I did with a box? I got a water... A leak proof, I guess is what it would really be called. A leak proof. Well, this proof. is leak proof. Yeah, and this one is definitely. Yeah. And, you have to um, and I got a tackle box. Oh, yeah. And so it has like all the little compartments and the sizers and you can move and shape. And so mm -hmm. I put things like nuts, meat, um, right. like uh, ham cubes, turkey cubes, pepperonis, right. um, cheese cubes, slice up some little cheese sticks, you know, whatever. So it's big. Yeah, and you can put it in your cooler and take it to the beach, um, take it hiking, you know, whatever. It's flat, too. Mm -hmm. So these are all great things. Yes. Yeah. And um, it's it makes life easier, for yes, sure. For sure. Um, you, know, prep. you know what you're eating. You don't, you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about, you know, trying to find something to eat. This is true. Mm -hmm. And so um, sometimes when you are... Um, portion control is a big thing. Um, that's not very important to weigh your food. I still weigh my f food. Do you still weigh your food? Yes. Um, and I I'll, do. You do not want to eat until you're full. You don't want to depend on that because um, you can numb the pressure receptors inside your stomach. And when you do so, you're going to keep eating and you're going to feel like your stomach is too big. And that is not true. What's true is your stomach just doesn't feel that it's full. And so if you weigh your food, you know you're eating the right amount. You should even this far post-op be eating around 8 ounces of food. You should not eat more than that. I, I have um, around 6 to 8 ounces. Mm -hmm. um, um, maybe 10 if it's super, you know, like something thin. I don't know. think I've ever gone over 10. But yeah. that's like your protein, like solid. Yeah. 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 So um, anything, the thinner it is, of course, the more you can have. But you should still keep it small. So sometimes when you put a tiny little eight ounce portion on a gigantic plate, this <laughs> feels um, kind of silly. It makes you feel it's a visual thing. You think you're not getting full. Right. Um, you think I, I, that is not enough food. It's a, right. your whole life you ate a plate full of food. Clean your did. plate. Clean yes. your plate. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so portion control, Sarita, how do we portion control? So, what makes us feel better about portion control? <laughs> I have these little toddler dishes. Mm -hmm. from Ikea and also I have little toddler silverware yeah so yeah so it's a little bowl and very little plate so I went to the Dollar Tree and bought some little toddler spoons yeah and yogurt was one of my go-to like mm -hmm. on-the-go foods and I had little toddler spoons everywhere at yeah. my desk in my car in my purse you name it go to the bathroom rinse it off stick it back in my purse um, and eating a toddler spoon helps you not take too big of eating with a toddler right. spoon. You don't take too big of a bite, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's great. You can also weigh out your little snacks in here. 
Yeah, and one of our patients posted that. You need an ounce little, of nuts? Yeah, a little cupcake thing. Yeah, anything. You could yeah. just use these, and you don't feel like you're... Mm-hmm. This is, if you put an ounce of something in here, that's a lot. It's going it to look is. like a lot. It looks like a lot. And people are like, well, that's dumb. Well, no, not really. It really <laughs> does. It's a mental thing. It really helps you um, use, use smaller dishes. Right. Um, for real, it helps. <clears throat> um, in using smaller things, of course, um, you also want to eat smaller bite-sized things, right? So you can use these smaller casserole pans. So this, this is a Le Creuset. Mm-hmm. It's very tiny, but, you know, I mean. If you were going to bake two pieces of chicken. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's perfect for yeah, that. It's perfect. And one of the things that we recommend a lot is ricotta bake. Mm-hmm. Um, it's in the post stop. It's one of the first things you can eat. That would be perfect for it. That's perfect for it. Right. Or if you want to make personal sizes, you can put it in a pan, a muffin pan. I made mine in muffin pans. And you pair it with um, this. Yeah. And you just <laughs> put it down in there and you bake it just like that. And when it comes out, it is a, it is a portion. Right. Um, and so if you do it the way with the paper, you can actually weigh it out okay. and then drop it down in here and then bake it. Right. Um, I also, st- I love egg bites. They're so good. Yeah. Um, what are egg bites? Well, you just mix some eggs with some things. You can do bacon. Mm-hmm. Um, well, bacon, cheese. You can do tomatoes and spinach. I love tomatoes and spinach. All kinds of combinations. Yeah, and um, those are on-the-go foods, too, right? So, and one, yeah. of my, one of my favorite accessories is my air fryer. And she has a big one, so have, it's over there, not over yeah, here. Yeah, I have a big one. It, has, it doesn't have the drawer. It has racks. Mm-hmm. And um, I use it every day. Mm-hmm. I, I, I just love it. You can do everything in it. It is a wonderful cooking accessory. Yeah, instead of turning on the stove or the oven, got my air fryer. And it's healthy. It's healthy. Mm-hmm. There's no oil. And... Mm-hmm. I love mine. I, I use do. the drawer one. I actually have one of the ones with the racks, mm-hmm. but it's still in the box. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I do like the one with the drawer. I like roasting vegetables in it. Mm-hmm. I can roast them on the racks, yeah. too. I just spray it with, um, you know, the cooking spray. Mm-hmm. For easy cleanup, and you can do everything there: roast, bake, broil, Meat, air fry. Vegetables. Yeah, dehydrate, all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. I love it. If you don't have one, look it up. Look up some stuff about air fryers. Yes. they are amazing. Yes. Um, so have we? Is there anything left on our table? Oh, we did spoons. have spoons, measuring cups, and spoons. Yes, I do those. use these. You would time. think every household had those, but honestly, you would not believe the amount of people who don't have measuring yeah. cups. <laughs> use them. You need to use them. It goes yes. along with measuring, weighing, and accountability for yourself. Yes. Did you really put a tablespoon of mayonnaise on that, on that, or did you not? Like, you know, measure it. Yeah, instead of using, like, a regular spoon spoon, use your measuring spoon. Yeah, because you'd use a tablespoon, but then you heap it over the right. top, and then you really end up with two tablespoons. Right. Is that really yes. a tablespoon? Yes. Use your spoons. Use them. Use them. Yeah. Listen, there are so many accessories out there. These are just a few. Yeah, few these are just favorites. a handful. Few are our favorites. Um, but, and I know we forgot some. Like, we had yeah. to have forgotten stuff. Of course. Um, you don't do this for six years and not have more accessories. But, um, listen, what are yours? What yes. are your favorite accessories? Drop us a comment. Yes. We love to know about your journey, too. And we can do a part two. Always. We can do a, something else. Yeah, always. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, this concludes for us. Bye, friends. Bye. If you have any questions or want to share your bariatric weight loss journey, you can call or text us at 480-999-4826 or send an email to podcast at mexicobariatriccenter.com. You can also follow Mexico Bariatric Center on Facebook Instagram, and Twitter. Keep in mind, these are the opinions of the host. The views represented do not reflect or define the values of Mexico Bariatric Center. This podcast is sponsored by Emerge Bariatrics and Mexico Bariatric Center. Please visit MexicoBariatricCenter.com for more information.